It's Heather. School is coming up kind of soon. And on YouTube, we like to start a little bit early, well, anyway, I do, to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get into the new school year. So, for today's video, I decided to show you eight goals to keep for the new school year. Let's get into it, starting with number eight. Unless you really want to get into some super expensive college that's all based upon how smart you are, I would suggest to save yourself the stress and don't worry about your grades as much as people tell you to. If you suck at a subject, it's okay. Just make sure that you try to do your best in that subject. No matter how bad you may be at one subject, just always make sure you try because then even if you do get a bad grade, which has happened to me plenty of times, at least you can say that you tried your best. Number seven, try and join some sort of club or group or join, do, do the play or the musical in your school. Do something just to get yourself out there and out of your comfort zone. It'll help you so much, believe me, when I started doing the musical and the play at my school, oh my god, I made so many friends. It is so much fun when you start doing groups because you make friends and that's just all you want to do for like the rest of your high school or middle school time. Number six, don't be afraid to meet new people. I know that when I was younger I was terrified to make new friends just because I was one of those people that didn't know if people would like me or if I was annoying or if I was too happy, I don't know. The friends that you make in these groups, they're like the best ones that you can have because you know that they enjoy the same thing you do. So there's one thing that you have in common already. So just don't be afraid of meeting new people. Number five, perfect segue, make new friends. Every single year it's best if you make at least one new friend. Get rid of the negative people and just bring more positive people into your life. The people who can really, you know, be okay with being with you. With you, the weird, funny, quirky person. Just you. Those types of people are the best ones to have. Anyone who says that something's wrong with you or, you know, says that something about you is weird or look at how many spots you have in your face, why don't you get those cleared up? Those are not the type of people to hang out with. So every year it's best if you start off fresh and get rid of at least one person that has really been putting you down because believe me, you will have such a better time in school. Number four, don't sweat the small stuff. This was so hard for me to actually find in myself to do because I am always stressed out. I am never just relaxed because I do so many things during the school year. I have so many extra curricular activities that I do. And just with school in general, I'm going to be a senior this year. And my junior year was the most stressful time of my life. But now for me being a senior, I really want to change a lot about being stressed. And I want to bring a lot of myself to be just really relaxed, even if it's in a very tight, tense situation. So just don't sweat the small stuff if you get a bad grade on a test. It's okay, you can do better next time. Remember, try your best. And if, just like if anything embarrassing happens at school, just laugh about it yourself. Because you'll feel so much better when you can just laugh at yourself and you don't sweat the small stuff. I promise, it works. And it took me a long time to figure out to just not do that stuff, but once you just like let a lot of things go, your confidence will start to build up and it'll just become a habit. Number three, be more positive. Now this took me forever to start learning how to do this. I would always put myself down and I would always, the stress that would get to me throughout the school year would just be unbearable. But once you start being more positive, you start to get that feeling of not being stressed and like knowing that it's okay to mess up and it's okay to not be good at something. Being positive and being okay with messing up, it'll start to boost your confidence so much and you won't be afraid of what other people think of you and you'll think of yourself as something even better. Number two, make this year the best year that you've ever had. With me, I feel like every year in high school especially, 
has just been getting better and better and better. And it's almost like, how can any year get better than this? But you don't ask that question because you just make it happen yourself. Explore different like personalities that you have that you never knew existed. And you just find who you are and you find what you like to do. And all these opportunities just start coming at you. And it's just you that has to make the year as much better as the year before. And if you can do that, then it is the best feeling when it comes to the end of the school year and you just feel amazing. And number one, be yourself. Don't afraid to laugh at yourself and try to find those people that will let you be yourself and don't think about what anyone else thinks about you. I know that's so hard, I still do it myself, but when you already get, like know how to be positive and you know what you're good at or what you like to do in life, no one can stop you from doing those things. It's just all you. It's your life and to be happy, you have to learn how to be yourself. Once you start finding out what you like to do by going to clubs, not going to clubs, by joining clubs, <laughs> or joining the musical or the play or just a group or like working for the school newspaper. You find yourself and you find the people that let you be yourself and that just makes school so much better. So just keep these eight things in mind and make them some nice little goals for yourself for getting into the new school year and I promise you, you will have some of the best times of your life. That's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment down below if there's anything else that I missed that you think that I should be working on or that I should at least try. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Today's heavy <laughs> Okay. Every time. Da <laughs>